This is a quick guide to mixing up nutrients in hydroponics. We're going to show you how to mix up some base nutrient to give you a feel for the process and get you familiar with all the necessary equipment. We'll get into additives another time. This is just to get you familiar with the basics. When you're mixing your solution, you're going to need the following items. pH meter. This measures how acidic or alkaline a nutrient solution is. An EC meter. This measures the conductivity of the water. Something to mix your nutrients in. This could be your reservoir if you're running a system, or, in our case, a bucket. pH down is used to correct pH levels when needed. Finally, we have syringes that are used for administering nutrients. You'll need to leave it standing for overnight, which will allow the chlorine to evaporate. We're in a hard water area, so we're going to be using a hard water variant of Cana Aqua Vega. You can see that we're in a hard water area because we have a reading of 0.4 EC. This is the low end of hard water range. Some growers are unfortunate enough to be working with tap water with a starting EC of 1.0 or above. If this is you, then you should invest in a reverse osmosis unit which filters minerals out of your water, getting it down to a starting EC of zero. pH levels have an impact on how good your nutrients are absorbed, so you just need to make sure it's in that sweet spot. We'll quickly test the pH to make sure it's within range. We want to aim around 5.8. Most feed charts will give you a recommended dosage in millilitres or an optimal EC level to achieve. Remember though, it's always better to underfeed plants than to overfeed them. Overfeeding causes damage that can take weeks to correct, whereas underfed plants can be fixed quickly and easily by simply upping nutrient levels. Ultimately, feed charts can only serve as a rough guide. Let your plants tell you whether there's signs of overfeeding or underfeeding. For the purpose of this video, we'll assume that our plants are in the last week of the vegetation cycle. As we've discussed, optimal EC levels will be slightly different for each plant. But as a rough guide, we need to aim for a base nutrient EC of around 1.0 or 1.4. Our tap water already has an EC of 0.4. So to get to the combined EC, we need a reading between 1.4 or 1.8. Sometimes it can be difficult to gauge how much nutrient there is to reach the right levels. According to our feed chart, the recommended dosage is 2.5 ml of A and 2.5 ml of B for each litre of nutrient solution. We're working with a 10 litre bucket with 10 litres of nutrient solution, so we need to use a simple bit of maths. 2.5 ml times 10 litres equals 25 ml of each nutrient. Now your nutrients are sorted, the next thing that you need to adjust is your pH levels. You can do this quickly and easily by gradually adding some pH down solution to your bucket or testing solution with your pH pen. Different bottles of pH down have different concentrations of fosoric acid, so they require different quantities. You'll get a feel for this over time and you'll get a better idea of how much to add. And that's it, that's everything you need.